This is a quick uh, tutorial on how to maybe do a little bit more with uh, the alpha channel here. I think right now we don't have an alpha channel right here. And uh, previously on the other uh, tutorial, I did uh, alpha channel to opacity. And I'm going to say it really quickly. I'm going to spin around and show, uh, hopefully it shows uh, what that looks like. All right, so we want to be able to, obviously this is just a complete whole uh, opacity, but um, a lot of us have transparencies uh, that kind of ease into it, probably like uh, here where it's 50% and not 100% whole cut. But I'm gonna show you how you can dial this uh, uh, down. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, break that link and we're gonna create a couple things. We're gonna create uh, something called a scale parameter. So I'm gonna type in scale and we're gonna look for scale parameter. I think that's it. Scalar parameter, not scale, scale scalar parameter. And so uh, I'll put that over here. And then we're gonna also do one that's called multiply. All right, and hopefully we'll get this on the first go. All right, and so we have in and out points and then uh, the ways of doing this. So we're gonna take our opacity channel here and sometimes uh, what I've done in the past with my own projects, I actually have a separate alpha channel that goes into the opacity. Here we have it built in. Hopefully it works all right. And so it may or may not work uh, for the student that I'm doing this for, but uh, hopefully it'll work. And again, I still need to do a emissive too, uh, how to bring that in also. And that could be also a separate layer, but I think my emissive layer may be uh, bound in here, but uh, I will do another tutorial uh, in a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do is take that alpha channel and we're gonna bring it into the multiplier to A, and then we're gonna bring our parameter here and bring that into uh, B. All right, so we're gonna take the, basically taking, uh, this is a multiplier and then this is a parameter so we can go up on the scaling or the op opacity. All right, so we're gonna go in here and uh, Take this to our opacity, and you'll notice immediately it goes to zero. So uh, here uh, we can go back and save this and save this uh, texture as a um, instance, and we can be able to do this on a fly a little bit quicker. But uh, right now we're just going to do default uh, scale is right here on zero. So I'm going to uh, scale this up, and you can see uh, still kind of transparent and then 0.6, and you can start to see that my object is transparent. Again, the, where those holes are, that's gonna be a transparent uh, a little bit more than, let's say, the body. All right, and so I can go all the way up to one, and it'll be full transparency, just where we had it. And uh, we can also, uh, I'm just going left mouse and just scrolling down. You can do it either numerically or with left mouse and drag, and do 0.8. All right, again, all your alpha channels uh, should be, not your alpha channel, your normal maps and all that should be showcasing here. Uh, let me know if that works. It doesn't really look as hardy as I want it to. Uh, it's a little bit too transparent for my liking. Uh, let's go up to a little bit higher. Pretty big jump from 0.8 to 0.7. All right, well, uh, give that a shot. Uh, let me s let me know if that helps with your transparency, and I'll probably do another one for the emissive layer. All right, good luck.